Alright you guys, can you see the sweat dripping off my face? It is humid as a motherfucker here, but I tell you what, I'm loving it, I really am. And you know what, today is a momentous day. In true fashion, I've decided to be as real and open as honest as, and honest as possible. I've literally just closed that door, and which means I've just moved into my accommodation here in Cairns. It's taken a week for me to find it. It's not your average accommodation, it's actually a really quite a unique uh, opportunity for me to just be in be in this place for, for 10 weeks. I've got a one bedroom self-contained studio, well it's not a studio actually but it's a, it's a self-contained apartment. It is absolutely everything I need. I've got it for 10 weeks. What I found, guys, look all my shit's there. I haven't put anything away yet. What I found, even though I'm employed, trying to secure a, a six month or 12 month lease here without being employed here was pretty hard. I was telling these real estate agents that I went and saw, oh, I've been here for like two days, I've been here for three days, no I don't have a job, I've got a child, you know, it's like fuck, <laughs> my, my applications weren't looking too good. So I saw this opportunity, it is a, it's a one bedroom apartment and it's fully furnished and I get it for $345 a week for a total of 10 weeks. I could have this for up to 12 weeks, but no more because it's it's legally it's a, it's a short-term let. So there there must be some legal implications for the owner and and you know how much they're allowed to charge or what they're allowed to claim back on tax. I have no idea. But anyways, this is my bedroom. We've got a TV on the wall up here. The bathroom's over there. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, first things first. I just wanted to get the camera out. It's been a week since I made my last video, which you guys saw. Uh, I saw Tate, I'd been here for one day and I didn't know how things were going to go with my, my ex. Well I'll tell you what, what I suspected would happen has happened and as soon as I got here, as soon as I could actually talk to her in person, as soon as this bullshit text message shit stopped, you know, things that are emotional do not text message about it. At least call, if not fucking FaceTime, if not talk about it in person. And that's the thing that really fucked me up. It's the thing that really made me anxious and depressed is because I couldn't do nothing about it until I finally got here. And as soon as I did, I put my plan into work. And uh, for the last week, I'm happy to say I've pretty much spent my whole entire day, every day, with Tate over at their place. So I've, I've had no choice. I haven't been able to take Tate out. To be honest, it's been torrential rain ever since I got here. I came through Townsville, you guys who've seen my travel vlogs, you would have seen I came through Townsville. Townsville is completely and utterly flooded right now. Some parts along the Queensland coast, oh my god, look at this, it is ridiculous. I've got the aircon on, it hasn't been on for long enough, clearly. Townsville and some parts along the North Queensland coast have had their worst rains in 100 years and it's not stopping for like the next three or four days. So I'll keep you updated on that, but in the meantime, oh, what have we got over there? We've got a TV. Oh man, I've got a new computer, finally. I'm gonna set that up right, right there on my dining room table. I've got two computers, I've got one PC and one laptop. My third computer, which is the one that you guys have seen me use for ages with the broken screen, that is gonna be connected up to the TV to stream Madden, which I'm gonna play with that PlayStation, and uh, it's all gonna be great. So, content creation is happening once again. You know, I've been living out of a suitcase for two weeks and I don't like it. <laughs> but, like I said man, these last seven days have been fantastic. I've been spending them with Tate and it's been amazing. I have not thought about bringing out the camera because I just haven't wanted to. Like I said, my, my priority was to, well I guess it was to prove to Mephemiel that, um, that I was, I was going to step up and do what I needed to do as a dad. And that brings me to my next topic, which is the trip to the US. Uh, I have decided to cancel that, but I will, well, I'll, I'll talk about that. Well, actually, I was gonna make a video on its own, but I, I won't. I'll talk about it right now. The trip to the US, I canceled it. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to say to everyone that, you know, watched that video that I made when I booked the tickets and commented and left 
you know, likes and, and amazing comments telling me the awesome things to do in, the, in LA and the, and, and the rest of the US, giving me offers to come and stay with them. You know, it, it, was, it was overwhelming. It was quite overwhelming, to be honest. I didn't know how I was gonna actually, you know, do it, <laughs> meet all these different people. Um, and in the end, with the whole situation here with Tate, you know, I decided to cancel it. It cost me a bit of money, but the reality is, is that, you know, I didn't need to cancel it to, to prove to my ex that I, you know, <laughs> a lot of you guys, you know, have been talking negatively about, uh, you know, about my ex, about the baby mama, um, especially when I was talking about the fact that I had to, you know, she was threatening me and stuff uh, with not being able to see Tate if I didn't cancel the trip. I just want to say first and foremost that communication is key. Communicate, communicate, communicate. If you're not communicating properly, nothing's going to work. And that was the case with me and Mathemiel. We have been communicating. Obviously, I've been staying there overnight, a few nights. Uh, I've been helping with Tate throughout the night. Things are civil. Things are going good. But it is nice for me to have my own space. I definitely want that. I'm not going to be living with her. That would just be setting ourselves up for failure. And we don't want to do that. So, you know, I was going to make a sit down video and talk in depth about the reason why I wanted to cancel it and what, you know, the plans that we could make for the future and when I thought I was going to actually make it over there. I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is that I've got to get this place set up. Um, you know, I've got to try and start looking for a job, which fucking sucks, but it's just the reality of life. And I've got to start making reaction videos again because they make me happy. So first things first, I'm going to unpack and then I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> of you who saw the video of me packing up my Holden Barina with all of my stuff and um, I still had my clothes to sort through. This is all that I took. Everything else has gone to the Salvation Army. I feel good about it and bad about it at the same time but I needed a clean out. So it's just me and these. And we'll worry about those later. thinking what is going to be the optimal place to put this table it doesn't have to stay where it is should I have it right in the middle there don't know I'm gonna to have to do some redecorating here See, we've got a bed, we've got a single bed, which I can't get rid of, no one's going to take it for me. So I need to keep that in here somehow. We've got the dining table, I need that dining table to be underneath that light. And I need this lounge suite to be closer to the TV. So, watch this. Hey, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> it's about three hours later, I'm not even gonna lie. Three hours, guys. I have not been able to come up with a conclusion as to how I'm gonna set out this furniture, but I have made some progress. So over here, 
we've got the computer, we've got the tripod ready to do some reaction videos which I cannot wait to do. Over here we have the TV, we've got the PlayStation and my laptop to do streaming if I want to do that. And we've got the kitchen and the, uh, the rest of the furniture I've just stuck back here. So we've got the single bed, we've got the five chairs, we've got the cane thing over there, the futon and obviously all this shit in my bedroom. So slowly but surely we're getting there. I'm going to head over and see Tate now. It's uh, 8.30 at night and she's been staying up quite late recently. I don't know if that's because I'm there and she's you know, more entertained and wanting, not wanting to miss out. I know I was like that as a kid, but she's been up till like 10, 30, 11 o'clock most nights that I've been there, but then she does sleep quite well throughout the night. So um, yeah, I can't wait. So thanks for being here guys. This was the first, first vlog in this little unit. Like I, like I mentioned before, I will be here for 10 weeks. So this is, this is it man, this is me for the next 10 weeks. I've got my content creation stations, one there and one there, and so there's no excuses. Man, it's not even about content creation. I don't even know why I said that man, this is, this is life. I'm living here man, I moved here. I moved here so, the next thing I need to do is not create content, it's actually to get a job because finances are, are definitely getting stretched and um, I've actually put all of my money into this Major Key Physiques launch. I've put pretty much every single cent, everything, you know. So except for probably about four grand which I used for the bond, my first month rent to buy the two computers that you saw and I've got some money for food and petrol, but you know, fuck man, it's getting close. So uh, this space over here, this space over here is actually gonna, sorry, over here, I'm gonna have all the boxes. So we're not only gonna be, you know, living in here, we're not only gonna be creating content from here, but we're also gonna be packing orders from here. So when Major Key Physiques launches within two or three weeks, I'll tell you guys, I'll be telling Instagram, I'll be telling Twitter, I'll be telling absolutely everyone I can, and all of the orders will be packed right here by me, which I cannot wait to do. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. But, <sighs> trust me, if I, if I had have had the camera on this whole entire time, whilst I was moving things around, you guys would have thought I was absolutely mental. I thought I was mental. The, t the table, the table has gone from, from uh, there to that side, to the back wall, to there, to in front of the TV, and now it's over there. That couch has been over here, it's been back there, it's been on that side. Honestly man, it's, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I fucking doing? I just need to go to sleep. Tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up with purpose, I've got my accommodation. There's two more days to the Super Bowl. Once again, I just want to apologize for not coming to the US, not making it, but as you know, there were reasons behind that and there are reasons that I feel very, very comfortable with. You guys are absolute legends. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.